Hi everyone, my name is Mons and I work as a software engineer at Key Factor. And today I'm going to show you how to set up your first root CA using eGBCA. We are going to start by creating a certificate profile. So we're going to go to certificate profiles here in the left menu. This step is optional, but certificate profiles are a great way to customize your certificates. And since we're creating a root CA today, I'm going to go ahead and clone the built-in root CA profile by clicking clone here. And I'm going to name this new profile my root CA profile. And then I'm back in the list and I'm going to go and click edit on the new profile. And here I want my new CA to use RSA keys, so I'm going to choose RSA from the list here, and I want the key length to be 1496 bits. So this will be the available option for any certificate created based on this profile. And you could choose more than one option here if you would like to. I'm also going to change the maximum validity time to 30 years here because I want my certificate to last for a really long time. And there are a lot of other things you could customize in your profile, but we're gonna keep it simple today, and I'm simply gonna remove some things that we don't need. So from the X509 extensions, I'm going to deselect authority key ID, as well as subject alternative name, and issuer alternative name. And further down here under other data, I'm going to deselect LDAP DN order. This is an old school way of ordering the components in the distinguished name, and we normally don't want this enabled. So I'm going to click Save, and now we have our first CA profile. So the next step is to create a crypto token to use with our CA. So I'm going to go to crypto tokens here in the left menu. And then I'm going to select create new. And I'm going to name this one my first root CA crypto token. And I'm going to leave this as a soft crypto token. That means that the keys are stored encrypted in the database. When you want to use a crypto token e in production, we recommend using an, an HSM. And for a say, authentication code here, I'm going to choose a good password. And it's also important to remember this since I'm not going to enable auto act activation. And that means that when I restart the container, I'm going to have to activate the crypto token again by entering the authentication code. I'm going to click save. And we now have our first crypto token, but we don't have any keys in it yet. So we're going to create that. And we need a sign key. So I'm going to name our sign key my first root CA sign key. And I'm going to add a number here towards the end. And this could be useful in the future if I would ever need to rekey the certificate. And the key type here should be RSA 1496 since it matches what I chose in the certificate profile. So I will generate that and I also want to generate an encryption key. So I'm going to name that one my first root CA encrypt key and also add a number here for the same reason and it should also be RSA 1496. It is also good to have a test key, so I'm just going to create one called test key here and I'm going to change the key size of this one to 2048 uh, just to save unnecessary computations. And now the crypto token is ready and we can go ahead and create our first CA. So I'm going to go to certificate authorities here in the left menu. 
and under add CA I am going to uh, put in a name and I'm gonna call this one my first root CA and click create and here under crypto token I am going to choose the one we just created and for the default key I am going to choose the encrypt key and the sign key should be the sign key and the key encrypt key I'm going to leave as the default key and for the test key it will be the test key so under subject DN I'm going to add some uh, extra information here so for example I want an organization key factor community and also it is good to add a country code so I'm going to add C equals SE for Sweden and for validity time here I want 30 years I'm also going to disable LDAP D in order again here and for the CRL expire period I think one day is a bit short so I'm going to change this to three months and now we are ready to create our first CA and there we go so our first CA is ready uh, a natural first step uh, for configuring this CA could be to go to edit CA and you could then define uh, distribution points for your CRL for example here but this will be covered in future video tutorials. Thanks for listening.